The WorkPro Quantum 9000 is a mid-back mesh office chair that's often compared to the more famous Herman Miller Aeron, not least due to their similar appearance. But this is a chair that has no problem standing on its own. I spent 30 days using the Quantum 9000 and overall came away very impressed. The mesh is firm yet comfortable and there are enough adjustment settings to give even the Herman Miller a run for the money. In terms of build quality, metal is used in all of the important links in the chair, pushing the chair to a hefty 60 pounds weight. For your info, that's heavier than even the Herman Miller chair at 55 pounds. Keep watching to see my in-depth review of the key features of the Quantum 9000, including two shortcomings you will want to be aware of if you're on the market for this chair. The tilting mechanism on the Quantum 9000 is fairly robust. When unlocked, you can freely tilt the backrest up to 30 degrees backwards. This is a great setting during breaks to relax your back and relieve pressure on your spine. To lock the angle of the backrest, simply flip the same switch backwards. 100 degrees is my preferred locked angle when working. As you can see though, once the backrest is locked, you can no longer tilt all the way back to the maximum 130 degrees. This is my one complaint with the tilting mechanism on the Quantum 9000. Fortunately, the backrest does still tilt back slightly at the lock position so it's not completely stiff. The seat height adjustment on the Quantum 9000 is fairly standard. It goes all the way up to 21.5 inches, which as you can see leaves my feet dangling as someone that is 5 feet 8 tall. At its lowest setting, the seat height measures 18 inches from the ground to the top of the seat. The seat depth on the Quantum 9000 is adjustable by toggling the second switch on the right side of the chair. This is a great feature to ensure the seat pan is comfortable regardless of your body size. Once you unlock the switch, the seat depth can be increased all the way to 21 inches to fit larger people. Lock the switch to set the depth anywhere between 19 to 21 inches. The ideal seat depth is where there is a 2 inch gap between the edge of the seat and the end of your thighs to ensure it doesn't cut off circulation. For me with an average body build, I find the default 19 inch depth ideal. The armrests on the Quantum 9000 are 3D. Apart from moving up and down, they can also pivot inwards 30 degrees and slightly outwards. This helps support your arms when you're on your phone or keyboarding. One legitimate complaint is that the armrests pivot too easily, without much force. I appreciate the gel padding that spans the entire armrest. It's a little firm, but offers good cushioning. So onto my favorite feature of the Quantum 9000 that really makes a big difference ergonomically. The entire backrest on this chair is height adjustable, up to 3 inches. As a mid-back chair, this lets it cater to both short and tall people to provide ample back coverage. My friend who is 5 feet 5 finds the lowest setting most comfortable for her. This is a feature that even the Aeron chair lacks. For me as a 5 feet 8 person, I set the backrest to its highest setting to properly cover the area of my back that I feel needs most support. Notice how at the highest setting, the backrest almost reaches the same level as my neck. At the end of the day, the WorkPro Quantum 9000 really surprised me, and pleasantly. Who knew an unassuming mesh office chair that costs in the neighborhood of only $300 could have the build quality and adjustable features of chairs that cost two to three times as much? Instead of recapping all the features and shortcomings of the Quantum 9000 again, I'll just say this. I've been sitting on this chair for the last 30 days and have no intentions of swapping it out after this review. 